The banana harvesting technology of the new century has truly amazed the world. What once required human labor is now replaced by intelligent machines, modern management systems, and streamlined production processes. Beyond rapid harvesting, today's banana farms apply advanced technology to improve quality, ensure food safety, and extend storage life. From vast open fields to modern processing lines, bananas have become a vivid symbol of the union between traditional agriculture and 21st century science and technology. Join us as we explore how bananas are planted, cared for, harvested, and processed with modern methods to better understand the green journey of this fruit that may seem simple, yet represents a global industry. Every story begins with the soil. Farmers plow, loosen the ground, and add organic fertilizer to create a nutrient-rich environment. Before planting, the soil is often left to dry naturally and treated to limit pests and diseases. Healthy banana seedlings are carefully selected. Farmers then place each young plant into a prepared hole with the spacing between holes calculated precisely to ensure every tree receives enough sunlight, water, and nutrients. During its growing stage, the banana tree requires special care. Weeds are always considered the most dangerous enemy of a banana plantation. They do not just take away water and nutrients from the soil, but also become an ideal shelter for pests and diseases. If not controlled, weeds can weaken the entire banana garden, slow down growth, and significantly reduce productivity. That is why farmers regularly weed, mound soil around the roots, and fertilize properly. Mounding the soil not only helps the roots become stronger, but also keeps the necessary moisture during the dry season. Besides weeds, old or diseased banana leaves are also removed in time. This is an important step to prevent the spread of fungal infections, while making the space around the base of the tree more airy, allowing sunlight and wind to circulate more easily. As a result, Bananas develop faster and more evenly. Another detail that not many people know is that farmers also trim off some of the banana flowers. This helps the tree focus its nutrients on the main bunch of bananas, instead of spreading energy into unnecessary side flowers. Each step may seem small, but it is actually the secret to producing large, firm, and uniform banana bunches. Banana farming is not easy at all. Besides the careful daily care, farmers also have to face harsh challenges from nature. Just one powerful storm lasting a few hours can flatten hectares of banana plantations. Bananas have soft stems and are easily knocked down, so when strong winds hit, the damage is often devastating. 
Apart from storms, floods are also a serious threat. When water logging lasts too long, the banana roots run out of oxygen, the plant weakens, and eventually dies. On the other hand, prolonged drought makes the soil hard and dry, preventing the roots from absorbing enough water. And that is not the end of it. Diseases such as Panama, Wilt, Sigatoka, or pests like stem borers and thrips are constant threats. These factors can cause yields to drop by as much as 40 to 50 percent. That is why applying science and technology in agriculture has become an essential solution. Water-saving drip irrigation systems, automatic pesticide sprayers, and disease-resistant banana varieties are helping the banana industry stand strong against these challenges. banana bunch reaches the right stage of ripeness, the harvesting process begins. Workers first check carefully for the size, color, and firmness of the bananas. Each bunch can weigh from 65 to 110 pounds, which is about 30 to 50 kilograms, adding up to dozens of bananas. To harvest, the worker uses a very sharp knife and makes a decisive cut at the stalk allowing the bunch to drop gently onto the shoulder. This job requires real skill because just a small mistake could bruise the bananas and lower their quality. An experienced worker can harvest anywhere from a few hundred to nearly 500 bunches in a single day. After that, the bananas are transported using special vehicles or cushioned containers to minimize impact during the journey to the processing plant. After being selected, the bananas are divided into smaller clusters of four to six fruits, making them more convenient for consumption. They are then wrapped in a special protective film or placed into polythene bags, followed by vacuum sealing. This packaging technique allows bananas to stay fresh for about two to three weeks, and even longer if stored under refrigeration. Thanks to this, Bananas can be exported to faraway destinations reaching Europe or the Americas while still retaining their natural flavor. fresh, but are also processed into countless diverse products. At the factory, several tons of bananas every day are peeled, sliced, and dried to produce chewy dried bananas or crispy banana chips. Another portion is deep fried in oil at a temperature of 356 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 180 degrees Celsius for a few minutes creating crunchy banana snacks that are packed into bags of 3.5 to 5.3 ounces, which is about 100 to 150 grams, and are very popular. In addition, bananas are also processed into banana flour, an important ingredient for the confectionery industry. Other familiar banana-based products include banana bread, banana milk, banana ice cream, and energy-rich banana smoothies. People would expect that the banana stem, often considered waste, actually carries significant economic value. After the fruit is harvested, the stem can be used to extract fibers. 
Banana fiber has very high tensile strength, reaching up to 1,500 newtons per centimeter, which is equivalent to or even stronger than some types of industrial fibers. Thanks to its flexibility and durability, it is widely applied in handicrafts such as weaving carpets, making ropes, handbags, and hats. Today, technology even makes it possible to transform banana fiber into biofabric, which can replace part of cotton or synthetic fibers. This opens up a green and eco-friendly direction for the fashion industry. After the fibers are extracted, the remaining banana stem is still not wasted. The leftover pulp is dried, ground, and then pressed into handmade paper. This type of banana paper has a natural brownish-yellow color and a slightly rough surface, yet it is durable and environmentally friendly. It is often used for notebooks, postcards, premium wrapping paper, and is becoming popular in many markets thanks to its uniqueness. From cultivation to processing, bananas go through a long and meticulous journey. Behind every banana we eat each day lies an entire production system. The diligent hands of farmers, the support of modern technology, and the creativity of people in making use of every part of the banana plant. The banana industry not only provides a nutritious food source, but also contributes to creating new materials diverse products, and sustainable solutions for the future. This stands as clear evidence of the harmonious combination between traditional agriculture and the technology of a new century.